I'm live. Let's see if it stays live. Oh, I'm so, I don't know if there's anybody here yet or not, but we're going to get started. Oh, 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 I forgot my lighting. Hold on. Just when you think that you've got it all right, it's wrong. There. There we go. Yay. Okay, yes. Better lighting. It says we're live. Keto for real life people. And I think the funny irony is that real life always seems to happen to me. <laughs> And I'm gonna adjust this just the teeniest bit because it looks like it's a little crooked and y'all love my little old-fashioned kitchen, right? Now I'm the other way. Hopefully I can edit after it's all said and done. There we go. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Let's see. Hello from New Jersey. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. So today it is going to be a savory dish and we are going to make um, cheddar keto rice and broccoli cheddar rice with crispy chicken thighs. I can't talk today. I'm going to set these out of my way and we're going to get started. Let me wash my hands up real quick because I've been playing with all of my... All of my stuff and I've got my towel all set right here let's try this again so it is keto cheddar rice and broccoli with crispy chicken thighs and so I'm gonna get this started here I do have my oven set to 375 degrees what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get some chicken thighs down in here we're gonna brown them off but it doesn't matter if they're completely cooked or not we just want to get them nice and browned so that they're crispy and we're going to set them to the side and then we're going to saute some onions and some garlic and then we're going to mix it together with this wonderful collie rice not real rice but collie rice and some broccoli and i've got two kinds of cheeses onions garlic some sour cream uh, salt pepper and we're just going to play with it have i made it not really. These are just things that I think of, and this is what my family is getting for dinner tonight. Woohoo! I see I've got 20-something people. I'm so used to Facebook, I just want to go, share, 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 share. But you can share. All you have to do is tap that share button and send it over to wherever you like to be. Aw, I see Chef PJ. Yeah, I, I can't. Hi, Nancy. Made it. Woohoo! I can't tell who y'all are by usernames, so just know that I'm waving back at you as I see the little comments kind of pop up and then they disappear. It's a little bit different than other social media platforms. So I'm getting my pot nice and hot and I'm going to back it down because it does heat up quickly. I'm going to start out with talking some more. <laughs> so, um... I, I did get everything prepped and ready to go. I've got four chicken thighs here. Let me see if I can't show you all so that it, the, the lighting is just crazy on anything white. But I have already rinsed my chicken and then I trimmed off anything to make it uniform. You know, there's lots of times there's extra baggage along with it. And then I pat the secret to nice crispy chicken skin is to pat it dry so it's not wet. So I use paper towels and I pat it all the moisture off. Hi, I go. Oh, I'll catch up with comments afterwards. <laughs> Hi guys. So we're going to start off, okay, by bringing this down a notch here to about 300 degrees according to this thing. And I've got some avocado oil which has a 500 degree smoke point and it immediately smokes. I'm just going to take a little bit of salt and sprinkle it over the top of these chicken thighs, y'all. And a little bit of pepper, just a little bit. And I'm gonna take these thighs and I'm gonna put them skin side down in my heavy Dutch oven here. It's an enamel covered cast iron pot. And we're gonna just get those going in there. Take this and toss it away. It is chicken, and we want to avoid soft contamination. I'm going to wash my hands again. Get them all soapy. And 
them all in here. I'm going to grab my handy dandy tongs. I hope y'all are doing good today. We're not getting snow like the rest of the nation, but I will tell you, even here in East Texas, it is very, very chilly and cold. All right. So I'm just going to let these do their thing, and I'm not letting them touch. I want to keep them separate from each other so they have airflow. There we go. And I'll just set that across the top like that. And then I can take a second to see comments. Hmm, I wonder if my tablet's charged up because maybe I can go on YouTube and do it that way. I, I try to think of everything before I start a live. And then once it starts, I realized that I did not remember everything at all. So, and I just get out of this and get out of this. And I'm going to go right into, no, that's kid tube, and get out of that. Get out, get out. And go up into YouTube. Pull all that down. And maybe I can keep up with the comments this way. You want, you want, can you guys see down in here a little bit? Oh, there, that's better. I try to remember everything is in reverse. Oh, it says I'm live. Ah, yes. I've never seen myself live on here. Let's see, Heaven, Helen and Marianne Kelly. Yes, Chef Santa Keto, good afternoon. <laughs> ho, 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 go Keto. Hi from Br Baytown, I'm Daniel, love your recipes. Thank you for cooking, keeping those recipes coming, they're delicious, thank you. Um, <laughs> Lisa says, and I don't know anything about YouTube yet, at least you have your kids to help you. Hi Rosa and Lois, yay! All right guys, I can set this down right here. And keep on going. You'll know, depending on what type of skillet you're using, it'll release itself when it's time to turn it. And I'm going to go down just a bit. There we go. This one's wanting to fit, of course. And I'm just going to let it keep going. There we go. Now, let's talk about the other ingredients. While this is browning up, I'm going to talk about what I have on hand. I've got about four cups of pre-cooked collie rice. That's two bags of the frozen stuff, which is exactly what I'm using. Um, I want to tell you guys... When I'm using collie rice, the frozen collie rice, I find that it's easier to cook it. Just go ahead and pop it in your microwave, cook it, and then use it for whatever recipe you're making. You can, you know, say if you're making a soup, just put it in frozen and it'll cook along. But there's something about cooking it first that changes the textures. And every time I make it this way, I find that it, it tastes more rice-like if you pre-cook it and then add it to whether it's easy peasy beefy collie rice or whatever um the other thing i did was i got a bag of frozen uh, broccoli florets and i already cooked those and the only thing i have left to do is i'm going to chop it down into uh there's a few big pieces in here like bigger than bite size so i'm going to give it a rough chop not a whole bunch of chop the other thing that i'm using today is cheese because this is like a cheddar, but now I do have two kinds. I've got a yellow cheddar, and then I've got a very nice aged, cave aged sharp cheddar. So you can use any sharp cheddar you like, but I think the combination of the yellow and the white is going to be really good. The other ingredients I'm using is about a half a cup. This just, it really gets me because I just want to kind of, I don't know, do this whole thing. Well, it's onion and garlic, salt, and pepper, and a half a cup of sour cream. So that's what we're going to be messing with here. Let's get this chicken. 
and I think I need to go up. It's an adjustment with this pot all the time. Oh. I'm going to give it a minute to cook itself over. This skin on this one just kind of completely fell off. Completely. I'll just stick it back on top there. Ah! Yes, I'm live. And my mother-in-law tried calling. Let's see if I can't do this. Do not disturb. There. Oh. I was so proud of myself, too, for all the stuff that I did. Let's see. Let's see. What type of oil? I'm using avocado oil. I have gotten to where I don't even buy olive oil anymore, you guys. Um... Olive oil, for me, the best thing to use olive oil for is pretty much salad dressing or any cold cooking you're doing. It has a wonderful taste and it's very healthy, but I find even though avocado oil is slightly more expensive, it does everything that olive oil does plus. You know, it's, it's just a higher, you can cook with it. If you're cooking with olive oil and you get it too hot, it oxidizes. And then it becomes not so healthy and can cause inflammation in your body. So, I like to, I just switch all the way over to the avocado oil. Let's see here. I'm gonna, the skin is nice and crisp on top. It's a golden color. This one just kind of fell right off. But I just want to give it a little cook. I'm not going to throw it away. And I have a fresh, clean plate here to put the chicken on. Get it out. Not quite unstuck yet. So we're gonna give it a minute. Set that there. And I'm gonna just look at comments. So let's see. Ooh, somebody has a blue thing. I wonder what that means. Diane Hoover. Oh, look at you. Love you, Nancy. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's blue. It says $2. I don't know what that's about, but I appreciate that. Jerry Davidson says, I just found you. Just found you. Did you have a weight issue? Oh, my God. Yes, Jerry. I had a major weight issue. Um, I'm down 70 pounds. I was at 247 pounds, and I'm 53 years old. I pretty much have been well over 200 pounds for my entire adult life and severe sugar carb addiction plus a gluten intolerance. So I made the switch to keto. I love cooking keto. I love teaching keto. I love helping others eat keto. And do I have a weight problem now? Nah, I don't. I'm so happy to report. Let's see if we can unstick it. Oh, this one's coming undone. Let me get my plate out. Look here. Nice. Nice and golden and crispy. There we go. I think this skin could be just a tad bit more crispy on that side. And, oh. I don't normally have an issue with this sticking, but this one guy just wants to keep pushing my buttons. And I'm just going to leave it. That skin wants to keep sliding off there on that one. And my oil is chopping just a bit. There we go. It smells so good already, y'all. I just want to eat the chicken. Eat the chicken! go. Oh, quit popping at me. Quit popping. There we go. So we've got our chicken just nice and crisp. I'm going to set it behind me. I'm going to turn this heat down. I'm going to see there's still quite a bit of oil in that. So I'm going to, I'm going to drain a little bit of the oil off. And I'm just leaving a couple of tablespoons in there. Because what I want to do now is take our onion and just soften it. And 
and give it a little bit of salt. Now, if you want, guys, you can hit this with a little bit of broth. I think I will because there's beautiful golden brown bits. I'm not going to use a lot because I don't want this to be watery. So I'll add that to... I'll add that to... And I have some turkey broth. Isn't it funny? Most of us always have chicken broth. I just happen to have turkey broth on hand. Huh. And I want just enough. Look at this, guys. Look at this broth. It sits up like jello. So I'm going to probably use maybe a quarter cup. Just enough. Just enough to get all that good chicken flavor from there. All right. What I do it. And I'm going to kind of deglaze this just a little bit. Let those onions soften up. I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic as well, guys. Yes, yummy. And bring it back up. Oh, it's already smells so delicious. So, so delicious. Now, if you want to make your broccoli and rice Mexican style, you can omit the broccoli and maybe add green chilies and rice and chicken, a little cumin or chili powder. This is one of these kind of things that you can make um, easy, easily make it whatever flavor you like. You could do Italian if you liked, and you could use spinach instead of broccoli. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to turn this off. Well, actually, I'm going to, there we go. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to move some things around here because I want to show you my simple trick to save space. If I had a bigger kitchen, I probably wouldn't have this issue. But I already have a nice uh, baking dish that I'm going to put this dinner in tonight. So rather than get out another bowl, I'm just going to kind of mix my ingredients in here, add my chicken, and then all I have to do is pop it in the oven. So I, I saved one bowl. As you can see, I have a sink full of dishes behind me. Um, I'll give it, I'm gonna grab some garlic powder just in case. Yeah, just in case, because I'm a heavy garlic user. Um, not everybody is, and I've got two big fat cloves in here. Everybody always asks me too, Nancy, how do you make such thick pan sauce? Believe it or not, just adding broth like this and letting it reduce, it bubbles away quickly and you add a little pat of butter, it glazes it up and makes it, this is a, this would be a wonderful uh, chicken poultry glaze to go over the top of the chicken. So now I'm going to cut that off. I've got about four cups of my collie rice. I'm going to put it in this pan. I'm going to take and add my, or let me get this something to straighten with. I'm going to take my onion garlic mixture and I want to show you guys how thick that is. Like it's not, ah, oh, so hard, so hot on my hands. And get that down in there. And to that, I am going to add about almost a cup of cheese on this side. I'm going to leave a little bit for sprinkling on top. And I'm going to do the same here. About three-fourths of a cup each of the cheddar and the yellow and white cheddar. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of pepper. Maybe just a little bit more. Some more salt. Some sour cream. And I've got a half a cup of sour cream, y'all. Half a cup. Let me get that out of the way because it is. I'm going to save my spoon here. And you're just going to mix it together into creamy, cheesy, broccoli, ricey deliciousness. The sour cream is going to lend to the creaminess. And it's going to help that cheese become even creamier. And I love, for me, it's all about sound. 
and thickness and texture. Let me set this here out of the way. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is slide that over there. So, and I'm going to set this over here. I told you I just need to rough chop this broccoli just a little bit more. I drained this broccoli too, by the way. Tip, 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 tip. Once you cook your broccoli, you can use fresh. I just happen to have frozen on hand. And I cook it and then I drained it and then I even set it on paper towel and took more of the moisture out because I don't, you know how broccoli gets all watery? I didn't want this to be watery. I want it to be thick and creamy and rich. So I'm just kind of, like I said, giving it a, just a bit of a rough chop so that it's more bite size. And then I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I left one big piece there. There we go. And I'm going to add that as well and give it a good stir. And then I'm going to give it a taste because I that's, that's how I do, y'all. I give it a taste. Let me wipe this off. Because I want to bring it so that you can see what I'm doing here. Trash there. Bowl there. And back into play here. There you go. This by itself, you guys, you could do this as a wonderful side dish. It's a great way to just make something delicious on the side of what you're doing and I'm gonna give it a taste mm -hmm. so good so so good but just to make it easy and creamy I'm gonna use this tongue right here and I'm gonna make like a spot for this piece of chicken up it and make a, another little hole right here and the juices from the chicken are going to come into in there and cook into this as well <clears throat> and then I'm going to make another little hole put that like that and then last but not least when I get done making this I'm making another batch by the way just for my family because I've got a house full tonight it is Thursday and I've got the in-law, I call them my in-laws and outlaws. They're not really outlaws, but you know. I've got my brother-in-law driving up from south. I guess he lives in the Rusk area. And then I've got my sister-in-law coming in. My daughter came home. And then we're all supposed to head over to my other brother-in-law and sister-in-law's house. You would think it was Christmas already. Now, I do have a little bit of drippings left, and I'm going to go ahead and just drizzle that last little bit of chicken juice right there. And then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to do a little cheese, 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 right there. And I'm, I'm kind of just going around the chicken, y'all, just not like this. You can cover this with foil. And bake it on 300 I like 375 because it keeps your chicken from turning to absolute rubber and then I'll come back with it a little bit so this is two cups of cheese in this recipe but it is dispersed over four four generous servings you could probably you know there's four thighs so we'll call this four servings and we'll just set that there. And already it is just beautiful. The way the lighting is, I can't tell if you can tell, but isn't that already just so pretty? I am gonna go ahead and do the foil thing because I don't want the cheese to burn before the chicken cooks. Shiny side down. We're just gonna do this and pop it in the oven. 
and that's hefty. There we go. And that, my dears, is how you do that. I'm going to take a moment here. And we're gonna call it, oh, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so. The chicken is already partially cooked, so it's not gonna take a full hour in the oven. So you got about 35 minutes. You just wanna make sure that your chicken is cooked thoroughly. We don't want salmonella or cross-contamination or anybody getting sick. Let me grab my glasses here. I love how this keeps up better than Facebook as far as real time goes. Okay, thank you, Helen. Ah, thank you. Let's see. Colleen says, thank you so much, Helen. It's been a long haul, but it's truly awesome. Yes. Great recipe. That looks so good. Watching the live. I usually watch replay. Woohoo, Carol. Looks great. I'm going to make this. Thank you. Can't wait to make this. Looks delicious. Looks so good. You know, guys, there... I say this, and this is my time to just talk with y'all. Um, it is 2.09. So we've got a little bit of time before I pull this out of the oven. And I think it's always good to talk about how wonderful keto is. You know, people say that this is not sustainable because we eliminate too many major food groups from our way of eating. And therefore, we can't sustain it. Um, they just, I think what they do is they just look at the basics. If you look at the basic food list and you see meat, vegetables and fat basically that it, it, with the exception of a few berries you would think well that leaves nothing when you cut out the whole wide world of grains and legumes and starchy vegetables and all the processed food and all the processed junk out there but if you look at the food list and you say oh you can have nuts you can have almonds well almonds make almond flour so we are creative. You have we can have cauliflower. We have cauli rice, and we can take we can take so many recipes and make so many things from those ingredients on our keto approved list that the possibilities are endless, endless, and we can also not ever feel deprived. I mean, we do everything from something as wonderful as chicken and, and rice and broccoli and cheese, which is just a traditional dish. We keto fight it, but we do the same thing with cookies, pastries, cakes, pizzas, ice cream, fat bombs, also known as keto candy. I mean, I don't think the only thing that we really haven't truly nailed yet is the potato. <laughs> the potato and the corn tor tortilla chip. But those are the only two things that I am still struggling with. Bread, not a problem. Pasta, there are ways around it, you know? Um, there's no deprivation on the keto way of eating. And the health benefits, oh, they're nonstop. They're endless, endless. So if you are new to my YouTube channel and you like what you see, please do me a favor. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, touch the notification button and tap that if you uh, want to get notices when I go live. I'm trying to go live at least once a week on YouTube. And then if you'd like to be a Patreon and support what I do so that I can keep teaching, educating, and helping others to do the keto lifestyle, Feel free to sign up. There's always a link, I think, when it's all said and done. I, I, I have to put that in there somewhere, I'm told, by other keto success, store, success vloggers. <laughs> it's called a call to action. Let's see. Sharon says, I'm so going to make I'm so going to make this for my hubby this week. Thanks, Nancy. Looks delish. Yes. Yeah, Ter Terry says, it's about what you can eat. Love this way of eating, yes. Um, Patricia, yes, I will actually, when this is all said and done, I will type it in and post it in the description under the title at the top of the video. So it'll be posted. I don't usually do it prior just because I ch sometimes change things up during the process of a live. If I was recording it, not a big deal. I could have it ready to go. But when you're live, you might decide to do something different like add some broth. 
So I wait until it's all done and then I go ahead and type up the recipe exactly what I used and then I'll post that after the, after the live. What is the name brand of your cooktop? Do you like how it performs? I do love it very much. It is a Rosewill uh, induction top cooktop and it is, uh, it's got some wonderful settings on it. It does. Now, I'm still learning how to use it because I've never worked with one before. This was a beautiful gift from one of my group members on Facebook sent it to me to help with my live. So instead of me trying to struggle over there with that old stove that I have and try to figure out how to get a camera on it while I'm cooking, she sent me this beautiful gift. And it's a little different because it, it, it heats up so fast. I would say my only thing is I wish I could tweak temperature just a little bit more because it does get hot very fast and it's just, I'm learning. I'm learning how to adjust it and you know, play with the heat temperature on it. But it does have like warm milk, it does have soup buttons, stir fry, fry and hot pot and touch control design and it even has a preset timer. I don't know who would do that, not me but it does have that feature. <laughs> um, radishes, they don't taste the same. People say they do, but not to me. I'm with you, sister. I have tried the radishes. They're not bad, but they aren't potatoes. <laughs> Believe it or not, the closest thing that I find that satisfies my need for like, say a fried potato is zucchini. I, I cube it and I cook it, uh, on medium heat until it starts just really crisping up and it is quite delicious still not a potato but way better than radishes in my opinion I, I'm not knocking them just saying let's see like up the page everyone thank you Lois uh, paleo Barbie oh that's Lindy hey lady I just got home we'll watch from the beginning later right on uh, Cindy says, finally caught you live, and Helen says, you look great, Nancy. Congrats on your weight loss. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. I am just a little bit warm here, and I'm going to tell you, I've got my spoon here from mixture, mixing this, and I'm, I've got just this little bit of onion and uh, oil and broth. <laughs> I'm so in for a treat tonight, y'all. <laughs> That's very delicious. When I do things like this, it makes me want to start all over again. Because that broth just reduced down. I, I, I could take that whole pint of broth and just start reducing it. And it would get richer and richer and richer and richer. And that can even be like a, a wonderful creamy base. Say, you know, back in the day before we were keto, you would get soup like concentrated Campbell's condensed soups and you would use those in recipes for your creaminess and stuff and of course you've got gluten and bad fats and sugar and um, salt sodium but you use that and it's wonderful you can basically do the same thing here whether it's cream whether it's broth whether it's combination all you've got to do is get a nice hot pot and then it'll just reduce down. So it'll get thicker and thicker and thicker and more concentrated. If it's already got some salt in it, it'll become saltier and saltier and saltier. Maybe that's my next thing is making concentrated sauces for y'all. Wonderful, wonderful for cooking dishes. Aw, Lois, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very, very, very much. All right, for those of you who are just YouTubers and have not gone over to Facebook, um, you know, there's a wonderful support group that we have. It's Keto for Real Life People group with the word group. And then there's Keto for Real Life People on Facebook. It's just the page. But I do lives out of both of them. Starting January 1st, I will only be going live off of the page for cooking tutorials and stuff like that so that I'm officially Keto for Real Life People not Nancy Childress in group. You see what I'm saying? But um, it's a wonderful support group. If you are interested in the keto diet or you're fixing to start it for your New Year's resolution and you need a place to go, more than welcome. Come join. Um, you'll find 
no other group as loving and supportive as our group. I am very proud to say that. Very, very proud of everybody in our group. Um, awesome people who help lift each other up and give each other tips and share their journey. And it's just wonderful. Um, let's see. Thank you, man. That's just so wonderful. Now that also coming up over the next two weeks is going to be and this is why I'm saying if you haven't been to group, you might want to catch this because we are going to be doing full on keto candy. Next week, I'm going to be doubling down. I'll be doing keto candy, Christmas candies on Facebook as well as YouTube. So I might skip a, 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 a savory dish. We, we will see what next week brings us. But there's just so many things, so many treats that I want to make and share with y'all. Everything from the praline pecans to caramel, to turtles, to divinity, to fudge, to brittle. And I can't wait to do those things. So it's gonna be a nonstop workhouse. Not to mention, I still have to get together at some point, maybe Sunday, because I'm trying to do real life in between these lives. But I do also wanna make eggnog and cocoa. Adult style. Uh, both versions actually, but I want to ketofy those things for you. Tis the season and Nothing better than hot chocolate with peppermint chocolate peppermint on it or Eggnog with some nutmeg on top of it. Maybe a little rum Mmm sounds delicious, and I can't wait to do those things Let's see Woohoo! Let's see Eggnog yes love group. Yes celery root for potatoes Jeff, I haven't, you know, I hadn't even thought of it, honestly. And I'd have to look at the carbs on it and see if it's something I would consider. Ah, uh, Lisa's, yes. There we go. Charlene says, sounds yummy. I can hardly wait. Yes, I just did some cookies. And that's the other thing. I, I still have to do gingerbread cookies. I'm trying my hand at sugar cookies. I've yet to find a recipe that I have manipulated enough to call it good. I did do some lemon cookies and some almond cookies uh, this last week and I'm sending those off. Next week I'm giving away candy. <laughs> I'm making it and then I'm shipping it out to lucky winners. So it's going to be great. Let's see here. Her pecan pie is very good. Oh my pecan pie. Yes Lisa. I ate half the thing by myself. Not all at once, but within 24 hours, I ate half of that pecan pie and I did not gain any weight. Isn't that the beauty of it? My brother-in-law, who is coming over here this afternoon, he, he loves coming over on every Thursday. He's like, I know she's going to cook and, um, and I don't get home cooked food. So he, he, he can't wait to get over here and eat. And he looks at me and he says, because he needs... He needs some help as far as, you know, he has medical high blood pressure and he could use a few pounds to lose and all that. And he's like, and you eat this way and lose weight? I'm like, mm-hmm. He's like, it's just amazing. He goes, well, I lose weight? I said, mm-mm. <laughs> no. No, you won't. Uh, Diane says, uh, Jerry Davidson, celery root, have a bitter flavor. How do you cook it? Uh, to make like potatoes. I tried daikon radish for scallop potatoes. Very good. Yes, I looked for daikon radishes and I could not find them, Helen. At all. Or Diane. I don't know why I called you Helen. Because <laughs> there's Helen Hopper and Diane Hoover. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this, this is a question I have been asked. Um, can you feed your non-keto family keto food? Sure, sure you can. If they eat it on a regular basis, they might as well just go keto because if they don't eat keto and they're eating keto food all the time, they will gain weight like nobody's business because when you take all this high fat that we're eating, high healthy fat that we're eating and uh, combine it with bread or pasta or sugar or potatoes, you're going to gain weight like nobody's business. <laughs> My husband's lucky enough. He's like, yeah, it doesn't bother me. He's like, I eat your food every time you come home. It's pretty much keto. But then he goes back out on the road and, you know, does his thing. So, let's see here. Colorful keto with Dory is here. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, no hearts. 
There's no hearts. There's no likes. It's just little old me. <laughs> She's like, but I can type them in. Type them in. Oh, Dory, I'm glad you popped in because I did not get to mention that Dory, if you haven't seen Dory, she has a, a channel on YouTube as well, Colorful Keto with Dory. And she's got all kinds of fun recipes. And she's also on Instagram. And she is in charge of a giveaway from, uh, like a big giveaway from Peterson's Farms, Alterna Sweets. And Dory, you type in all the information because I there's like four big companies. And they're giving away all kinds of stuff. So I told her I would mention it all over the place today. Every time I went live, I would mention her giveaway. If she shows up and here she is showing up, I'm so happy. <laughs> Let's see here. Yes, YouTube isn't the boss of me. No, but I will tell you this, YouTube is, I enjoy it. I, I, I wish I was better at it. And I think the only way to get better at YouTube is just keep, keep doing it. And I would love to learn how to do more, um, video good stuff. Like lives are just easy. They're time consuming, but they're easy. And I would like to have better editing skills and make better content. And that is one of my goals in the upcoming year is to work on doing that. Professor, oh, let's see, Professor Tinbender. Hey guys, this is Shelby. <laughs> don't know how I'm under my hubby's name, but I don't care, LOL. That is so funny. Let's see. Oh, let's see, Paleo Barbie is doing it. I'll show hers. There we go. There we go. That's so cool. Like Paleo Lindy, she's 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 doing a giveaway and she posted it and YouTube was like flagged it. Like, do you want to allow it or not? That was kind of nice of them. I thought that was sweet. Keep 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 you on your toes. All right. Let's see. Where are we at time wise? Two twenty four and it was two oh nine. So. Oh, uh, we're in there. I want to check this about halfway through because I wanted to pull the foil off and let that cheese get bubbly on top and let the chicken continue to crisp up. But I just want to make sure it's done. So let me check on it real quick. I'm going to grab a hot pad here. Ooh, that oven is hot, hot, hot. And I will slide this tablet away because heat and tablets don't go together. And the cheese is melting. The skin is a little softer now. And I'm going to poke this with a knife. Poke it right next to the bone. And if it runs clear, you're good for go. If it runs pink, you have some time left. I want to poke next to the bone. Oh, I'm going to look under the skin there. Where's that bone at in that piece? I'm all poking it to death. It's not bubbling yet. So I'm going to pop it back in now. Mmm, I see just the slightest little bit of pink. So it's not going to take that much longer. But doesn't it already look wonderfully delicious? Oh, Look at that beautiful stuff. And down we go. I love this shirt. It's so cute. I got it from Walmart, y'all. But, what do we got here? Actions. Go to channel. Uh, get out of that. That's all I want to do there. Um, I got this shirt at Walmart. It was only six bucks, but... It's one of those kind that hike up. Every time I, I raise my arms, it lifts higher. And I wish shirts were designed just like three inches longer. I prefer the longer shirt. I like them form-fitting too, but I just like them longer. Let's see. Uh, so apparently, this is from Dory here. Dory says, uh, da, 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 da. let's see. Eggnog and rum, that is good. That is darn delicious. Uh, Diane loves Dory's channel and Wendy and Dory says okay so apparently YouTube is the boss of me you posted too many comments take a break and try again oh my god are, this lady has hell with all of this she's not allowed to comment diddly squat anywhere because they flag her I don't know what that is Tarek, Tarek says I'm under hubby's name too we'll have to go figure out how to change it this is Tammy hi Tammy what you do is you sign out and then sign back in under your own account. 
Um, Dory, it flagged me apparently. Yes. Oh, let's see. Here it goes, Dory. Show your stuff. There. Now I approved you. There you go. Uh, well, what it is is it's a protection on your mind. When, you know, you have people who will spam your channel, especially on YouTube. Like, have you ever been watching it and you go to comment on the comments below and read it? Somebody will be like, I sell Ray-Bans. Go to this place. Go to that place. Well, they're just trolling and spamming your your content is basically what they're doing. So now the owner of the content, that would be me and YouTube, have a flag on it so that I can approve it or not. So I approved Lindy's and Dory's and it's showing your links now, yes. There we go. I know they did limit comments. Well, you're, you're, you're good for go there. Good for go there. So we're getting ready here in the next few minutes. I'm gonna get a plate out because I do, gosh, I have such a kitchen to clean today. And I still have, like I said, one more little video that I want to make. I'm not going to post it today, but I'm going to tape it. I'm, I'm going to tape it and then piece it together and just make another little short video. Sort of like I did with the sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to move this out of the way. And get out of plate. And set the plate there. I'm going to leave that alone. And move this out of the way. Gosh. And then, when this is all done, I can plate it up and taste it and tell you how delicious this is. Yay! You're still getting to comment, Dory, so that's awesome. <laughs> and you know what guys I didn't even use my garlic powder I, I those two big cloves were really strong smelling so oh my gosh I've got utensils and things all over my kitchen my daughter came back home so she's like here mom here's an extra knife block here are some extra utensils like I, I, I don't have a commercial kitchen but I wish I did have one it would be awesome I think I need new pot holders I've had these bad boys forever. And I don't even know where this one came from, honestly. I mean, just one day it showed up at my house, and I'm like, this was like a week or two ago. I'm like, well, I don't even know where this thing came from, honestly. Your guess is as good as mine. Who's been ki who's been sneaking in my kitchen and cooking? Let's see. Uh, Paleo does Barbie. Thanks, Nancy. My giveaway will be announced tomorrow. I will show that. There you go, girl. You are so welcome. Um, I guess I could sit up here and do it like this so that I kind of not just see in the top of my head as much. Yes. Uh, Denise, Denise, it's on YouTube. No, no, no. Did I do pecan pie on YouTube or I did it on Facebook? It's on Facebook, I believe. And if you go to group, I will tell you all this. If you go to group, at the top of the group, Facebook for Keto, or Keto for Real Life People Facebook group, at the top of that page, it says announcements or pinned posts. Just tap on them. The very top one you will see is recipes. And in there is all of the stuff that I make. And I post it there. And you can save that link or share it or copy and paste it somewhere in your notes, in your phone. And it'll always be at your fingertips. And I am working diligently on trying to get my website fully loaded because ketoforreallifepeople.com is up and running. But it's only got a few recipes up. I'm... It, it's time consuming. I'm going to have to take like one day that I'm not doing any lives or anything like that and just do the, the, the background work of uploading videos to there. That way all my recipes can be found by everybody and my we website does have my YouTube link to it and my Instagram and my Facebook and my Twitter and my all recipes and my Pinterest and you know all that good stuff. Oh, it has a picture of nutritional yeast bread. It's all listed under the comments. Yes, yes, yes it is. All right. I kind of over-explained myself, didn't I? There we go. Oh, that's what the top of my head looks like. I got to quit doing that. Hmm. 
So what do you think of uh, me in a turtleneck? I don't do them. I've always loved them, but I never did them because I was always too heavy. I Every time I put a turtleneck on, I felt like I was stretching it over a watermelon and then my little apple head popped out the top and it just, I felt like a penguin or something of that nature. So I was being brave yesterday. And I will tell you, this is a non-scale victory for me just to be able to put on a, a, a turtleneck. I did do this to it though. I was like... But I have to say, I kind of dig it. I'm happy. I'm happy for this little non-scale victory of being able to wear a turtleneck now. Especially with the weather being as cold as it is. Yes, yes, love it. I've always liked like cowl necks that come and hang down. Let me get a check here. 39, 33, I really want it to go to 39. Uh, 39, that's 30 minutes. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. I want to check this chicken. Because I don't want the chicken to be dry. That I would rather do with a little less browning and have juicy. Oh, just I poked it and it popped up just running clear. And I poked it right on the bone. This one here, that one. Where did the bone go in it? Oh, there it is. There we go. There, found the bone. Just wait and give it a second. It'll the juices will bubble right up out of it. So let me close this oven. Oh, all my juices are running clear, which means we are at go time. My cheese is it's hot as heck here. But my cheese is all melty and wonderfully beautiful. The chicken is golden on top. And I can take this. Wait, I got a little bit of pink right there on that one just now. I gotta, I gotta be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. These ones are all running clear, but this one was just a tad bit bigger than the other three, so... We'll just put that back in there. Keep on going. I love that you guys are so patient with me. I mean, if I have time, I like to, I would love to have made this up and had it ready and then just pop, popped it in the oven and pulled one out. But really, with my daughter here and the baby here today, and I, she graciously, because I remember I was supposed to take my mom to her doctor's appointment this afternoon. Um, but... She's like, Mom, I'll take Grandma or Nana to the to her appointment. It's just a checkup. And I said, oh, that, you just don't even know. <laughs> you just don't even know because with my busy schedule, it gets really crunched for time. Let's see here. Oh, my gosh. I got all these messages coming in. Ah, yes. It does look delicious. It's going to be delicious. Now, I will tell you. I love these kind of dishes. I love creamy, cheesy. I have been craving chicken. Maybe it's because of all the beef and turkey, and I haven't really had any chicken in a month. I literally bought a, a rotisserie chicken yesterday, and it was so overcooked. It was, I mean, it's still in the fridge. I'm like, well, I don't even know if I can make something with it. But um, show. There we go. There you go. I'm showing your stuff, y'all. It's my pecan pie, and... I'm letting her post it. There we go. Thank you. But anyway, um, where was I? I was talking about that rotisserie chicken. Oh, I'm the kind of girl who likes it spicy, a little spicy. I, I to me, bland food, <laughs> that's what I call it, bland American food. I'm like, it's so bland. Can you put some hot sauce on it? You know how some people put ketchup on everything? I'm like, just hand me a bottle of hot sauce, and then I'm good for go. But I got a feeling this is going to be just right, because I did hit it really good with garlic and onion and salt and pepper, and I really didn't feel like it needed that much more. I wish I could have added a package of ranch dressing, but I'm not sure what their ingredients are. I powdered the powdered stuff, because that would have really kicked it up a notch, too. But I think with enough garlic in there and sour cream that we're going to get that, and onion, it's going to get that close flavor to it. I just want it to hurry up and get done so much. I, I, I want to eat it. I'm so hungry. <laughs> 
All I've had today is my green uh, matcha tea latte, frozen latte. It was so good. Um, and then, oh, I can at least drink some fluids, right? I've got my, you know me. What is it, Nancy? It's black cherry sparkling water. By Ozarka. Dory says, I'm supposed to be getting in the shower. I'm having a bath instead so I can still listen. You're going to get a bubble bath with me? Look, I'm in the bathtub with Dory. <laughs> Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> mm. I love Dory, you guys. You know that. Dory and I, what is today, Dory? What is the date today? The 6th? So in four days, Miss Dory and I hit our one-year anniversary since we met. It was one year ago, December 10th, that I was in a humongous group, that she was in a humongous group. It was like 150,000 people. And that was the very first time that I ever went live on Facebook. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, you got to go over on YouTube, and, or not YouTube, but Facebook, and look and see at that. Um, check group later. I'm sending a short video of my new batch of beef broth. Oh, I'm so sorry you're disappointed. Oh, my beef broth is pretty darn jiggly. But anyways, a year ago, it's been almost a year since Dory and I met. And, uh... We hit it off instantly. I love her personality. I love her energy. I love her hair. I, I mean, and her humor. Oh, my God. Y'all don't even have a clue how freaking funny she is. She tones herself down so much for public events. It's unreal. But, my God, the woman keeps me laughing all the time. She just cracks me up. I love her to death. Um, yes, Dory and I do make a great team, don't we? Yeah. Sisters. Sisters. Come on. Ah! 2.40. Hot diggity dog. That puts us at over 30 minutes. So. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. You were the one. Let's see. Just keep right going on that bone like, come on. Clear to me. Let's get down on this one. Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, this one. This one is, and it's crispy. It's crispy right on top where the little goldens are. They are delicious. So let me get oh, my little short spatula, and I'm just going to. Lift out the chicken, and then you can just section this off. See, when I said it was about four cups of the, and see, it's nice and thick. It's not watery or gooey. It's just beautiful. And it didn't even stick to, it didn't even stick to the bottom of the pan because there's so much good fat in it. All right, I'm gonna take this and set it behind me so I don't burn myself. I'm gonna get a fork and a knife. Well, hell, I got a knife right here. I might as well just use it, not dirty another dish, right? I gotta give it a second, it is so hot, but let me, let me just bring it up to you guys. Is that just comfort food? Is that just not beautiful, y'all? Look at the chicken. It's nice. It's pretty. It's golden on top. You can crisp it up even more when you're cooking it if you like. It's just lovely, lovely, lovely. There we go. Uh, Offbeat Homester says, I found your channel off of your nutritional yeast rolls. Cool beans. Happy you're here. That's awesome. Now, I will have to say, I like a little more pepper. I won't need salt, I'm sure, because I did pretty good. But to me, just, I love fresh black pepper. 
on my rice. Like I said, I love hot sauce too, but I'm, I'm holding back. Let's see here. Oh, yum. Reminds me of risotto. Mm-hmm. So I, I just want to get closer to y'all just because I want you to see it. It just sets so nicely. It sets beautifully. And it's hot as heck. It's so yummy, guys. It's creamy. The sour cream, the cheddar cheese, the broccoli, the rice. Collie so rice. I can taste a little. I don't know if it's collie rice I taste or broccoli because, you know, they both kind of they complement each other really well, guys. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, let me cut a piece of the chicken. Which is tender and juicy, by the way. And that's a big bite and a hot bite. So let me cut that in half. And I want to get part of that skin, too. There we go. Mmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put it with the rice. Mmm. I want y'all to do me a favor and make this and then post your results back in group okay back on Facebook or Instagram I know it's oh, oh no 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 you can even post pictures I think because now they have this thing on YouTube where they do stories and they have community so if you go out of here when you get done it'll say Nancy's channel and then you hit community and I have been posting there, but it's it's like quiet because it's not like Facebook. But I post pictures, and I can post recipes, and I can post stuff. So I want to see your results. I want to hear your feedback. I want to know what you think. Maybe you would tweak it. I could have easily added mushrooms to this. Like I said, I could have changed it up and omitted broccoli and just used green chilies and some more cheese. And I could have even probably used some enchilada sauce, and we could have... That's it. I could take this and make it into a green chili uh, chicken enchilada casserole type of deal. It, it, there's just so many possibilities with this one dish of swapping stuff out. Maybe I can call it the chicken swap and shop. <laughs> um, oh, Susan, you can always catch a replay, hon, but hey, the results are always the best part anyways. I always, when I'm watching the Food Network channel or HGTV, I can't wait to get to the end results. I just want to see the before and I want to see the after. All the stuff in between, I have to just be patient. <laughs> I'm so impatient. <laughs> the community section is so quiet. It is. It is very quiet. It, it's brand new to YouTube. And I think they're really trying to, like, you know, be more mainstream and be more, well, get their share of the pie. More like Facebook. And besides, people are so tired of Facebook. I... It's my biggest platform. Well, no, I should say this one is neck and neck now. Group has 12.6 thousand followers, group members, and YouTube has 12.6 thousand subscribers. So right now I'm running neck and neck, and I would just love to see those numbers climb. So like that's why I appreciate all the shares and stuff. You guys have been great. I thank you so much for tuning in today. I really want you to try this dish. It's family friendly. It's hearty. It's delicious. It's, it, it ticks off all those bells for a, a cold winter night dinner. And again, thanks for, for stopping in. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and share, 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 share wherever. You guys are awesome. I've got to come around here now to hit the whole thing and say, remember, guys, fats first, moderate protein, low carb, and get you some. Thank you.